Hello friends, uh, welcome to my channel for Shops into a DevOps world. Today we are going to learn about code trees. Here's the agenda for the day. What is code trees? I mean, do we really need to go through this? Uh, name speaks for itself. Code trees. This. Uh, this. This. There's no code changes that's allowed. Next, uh, we'll be seeing when does code freeze happens, and lastly, we'll be seeing with our demo how does code freeze happens, how you can implement it. We, we have already covered what, what's code freeze, right? Uh, uh, no, no changes in the code base. When does code freeze happens? It is always important to link or to map code trees with your sprint activity, with your sprint milestone, uh, say UAT start. Mostly it's going to be UAT start, but you know, different projects have uh, different, uh, you know, uh, different projects have different uh, life cycles. So depend, depending on that, uh, you implement code trees, but it has to be mapped to a project milestone. Lastly, how does code freeze happens? You know, when, when you are near to uh, UAT, uh, you, you get an announcement from, from somewhere. We are starting off with UAT. Please don't make any code changes. And it's more logically than physically. You kind of adhere to it by true sense of your working model. But is that correct? No, not really. Because if someone by mistake checks in anything that may really mess up uh, the entire governance, so if you can implement code trees physically, there's this nothing better than that. Go for it. So how can you implement code trees physically? It, honestly, it's pretty simple with the uh, branching model. You, you can have it implemented pretty easily. Let's, let's go to the system and see it visually. Stay. So, uh, we are onto the system. Uh, this is the sample uh, project I have created on GitLab SaaS account. It has two branches, a uh, main branch and a developed branch. Main branch gets created by default when we create a project in GitLab. And developed branch is a branch which I created on my local and then pushed it into GitLab. Uh, both the branches have a simple file. And for the purpose of demo, this demo, I created a uh, another user signed up into GitLab with another email account and uh, gave it access to this project. So this is what you can see. This is the one with which I'm logged in into this UI. And this is the account which I created and I give it a developer role. So if I show you in VS Code, uh, this so I've cloned this repository and this, this is the developer account with which I am I have cloned uh, things. So uh, for the purpose of this demo, let's uh, go to develop branch. The same file. Let's see what the content is. So it's only one file with YouTube demo. So now if we want to see uh, so let's make some changes to it. So I, I can make changes directly because I know nothing's changed, but just uh, let's let's abide by the standard best practices. I'll take a fresh pull of our developed branch already up to date. I'll open this file and then uh, first commit. I'll save it. Let me stage it and then i'll commit staged uh the commit one which is uh commit happen now get push origin or uh, develop so uh i, I know uh most maybe most of you know about all these commands and how these things are working in vs code but still we'll be covering everything in detail but just for the purpose of this demo i have i'm you know kind of uh, flowing uh -huh. and but we'll be 
uh, absorbing everything what is Comet doing what is staging doing will be absorbing everything why how did we cloned it will be kind of uh, discussing everything maybe in the upcoming sessions so yeah uh, it did push so let's go check it out uh, let me refresh it again uh, it's refreshing so yeah first comment is here now uh, so this is what has been done my uh, by a new member which I added to the project uh, with a developer role now suppose uh, UAT is about to start and code freeze is about to happen how do we enforce it how do we enforce that uh, as a governance so that you know it's not just logical it's not just a uh, communication but it is actually there so in order to uh, you know implement it what do we need to do uh, we'll simply go to our repository settings and repository and then there's a protected branch section so if you see over here so this is a place where we can protect our branch where we can you know mention that there shouldn't be any check-ins into this branch by which you know no wonder whoever is doing whatever uh, if you are the admin you can control who can check in into a branch and uh, by default when we create a project in GitLab a main branch is marked as protected by default with this only maintainers are allowed to merge and only maintainers are allowed to push in a similar way you can uh, select develop branch who is allowed to merge uh, maybe um, let, let's keep it consistent maintainers who is allowed to push uh, maintainers and allowed to force push no sorry i'm not gonna give that exception and require approval from code owners yes you can create a process uh, but you know uh, let, let's not get into this we can cover this uh, depending on if, if you want me to cover it uh, just dro drop into the comments and uh, we'll cover it definitely in the upcoming sessions now i'll protect it uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. all right let's see did it do anything it didn't give me an error so yeah develop branch is now protected so what does it mean now only maintainers are allowed to push into this branch but if we see uh, if we see the guy who is working on the vs code is not a maintainer he is he's having a developer role see he's not having a maintainer role so what will happen so now again let me uh, try to do the second comment i'll save it uh, this process remains the same i'll stage it i will try to commit staged uh, with pg commit i am i have actually committed into my local now if i try to hit push origin develop please so our, our, our developer will definitely pray and uh, you know it, it i have seen it happening because in many projects it's not uh, enforced uh, using a a git branching strategy but oh what you are not allowed to push code to protected branches on this project sweet but you know it's a critical uh, requirement which came in the last time what's my fault how can i push okay let me reach up to the release engineer i'll take the necessary approvals and uh, what can a release engineer do now because he got uh, you know a mail an exception okay you this guy should be allowed to commit so there are a number of ways in which this can be accomplished but again this is a proper way in which you can enforce code trees in which you can enforce devops governance in which you can protect your code do it implement it safeguard your branches there shouldn't be anything happening other than the development phase in a, a, a the basic concept right and this is how we enforce it uh, so but still there's uh, some exception that happened so let's see how we can uh, 
still grant some access so uh, what the release engineer will do release engineer will come here and for that specific developer he'll give him a maintainer role role updated successfully and now when the developer will try to push his changes to develop branch hmm. voila here you go this is how you can achieve true devops governance and uh, just for the you know for the purpose of validating it let's see what is there so uh, just i haven't much so right now in master it's only youtube demo but if it's i go in develop which I, I should be having the second comment i didn't got any error so yeah i get the second comment so this is how we can enforce a true code freeze uh, this is the best way to achieve true code freeze if there's any other way which you know is there and i may be missing out do drop into the comments that would definitely add to the knowledge of wider audience and uh, it, it would add to the no my knowledge uh, definitely nothing better than that and you know this is how it happens in gitlab github and bitbucket no difference any other uh you know any other repository keeper there won't be anything uh, that different there would be some navigation difference but nothing uh besides that so uh, that's all i had in store for the day hope you liked it and uh, uh, do subscribe do like it and uh, uh, it does motivate to bring up more stuff uh, you know, uh, analyze, spend time and prepare more stuff for the up upcoming sessions and we all will learn together with it. Uh, again, thank you so much for wa watching the video. Uh, stay tuned. Do, do, keep, uh, uh, do click on the bell icon. Do subscribe. Bye-bye. Yeah.